Hey booktube, it's Thea and I am here with my December TBR. So for December, I only have three books because December is a very busy month with the holidays. I wanted to keep my TBR mostly doable um, and yeah, depending on how the month goes, I might throw in a couple of audiobooks, but this is kind of my main goal for the rest of the year. Um, I'll really quickly kind of show you guys what I plan on reading, so let's go ahead and dive right in. The first book that I plan on reading in December is Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. This is my December book club choice. This is our December book for my YA book club, so this is definitely the first thing that I have to pick up this month. Um, I have been wanting to read this ever since it came out. I'm so excited to give it a try. Um, I've heard mixed things about it, but I'm super pumped for it and um, hopefully can get through all of it before my book club meeting. Um, but I'm really excited to read this this month. And I'm also going to go ahead and pick up Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. Yes, this was on my November TBR. No, I didn't get around to reading it. So my boyfriend and I decided we were going to hold off on it for one more month because November got super crazy busy. Um, so we're going to pick it up in December and give it a read. I don't think it'll take very long. Um, I do also have the audiobooks, so I can switch back and forth between the two. Um, but I'm very excited to dive into this. I have had this on my TBR for like three years. I'm super pumped to finally get to it. And I think it's gonna be the perfect like winter, it's like the perfect like fall winter read. Um, curl up now that it's like nice and chilly and light a candle, make some hot tea and give this a read. And then the third book, the third and last book that is on my TBR for December is One Day in December by Josie Silver. This I got last year in book of the month and just never got around to it. I've been holding off reading it because December kind of felt like it was the perfect time to read it. I honestly don't know much about it. I think it's kind of like a romance chick lit kind of book. Uh, two people, 10 chances, one unforgettable love story. Lori is pretty sure love at first sight doesn't exist anywhere outside of the movies. But then, through the mist on a bus window one snowy December day, she sees a man that she knows instantly is the one. Their eyes meet, there's a moment of pure magic, and then her bus drives away. Certain they're fated to find each other again, Lori spends a year scanning every bus stop and cafe in London, hoping for another glimpse of what she trusts is true love. But she doesn't find him. Not when it matters anyway. Instead, they reunite at a Christmas party where her best friend Sarah giddily introduces her new boyfriend, Jack, the man from the bus, to Lori. What follows for Lori, Sarah, and Jack is 10 years of friendship, heartbreak, roads not taken, and destinies reconsidered. One Day in December is a joyous, heartwarming, and immensely moving love story and a reminder that fate takes inexplicable turns along the route to happiness. Like the perfect read for December. Um, I don't think it'll take long to get through even though it is kind of a chunker um, just because the font's pretty big and it's kind of like contemporary and romance chiclet and I don't tend to take very, those don't tend to take very long for me to get through. Um, and this just seems kind of like the perfect holiday. Curl up under a good blanket, make some tea, light a candle and read this around the holidays when it's like, busy and just like take time to set aside and give this a read. So I'm hoping that I can get to this and hopefully I enjoy it. Here is my December TBR. It's the last TBR of the year. It's crazy to think that the year is almost over. Um, I'm a little disappointed. I'm probably not going to hit my Goodreads goal this year for like the first year in a really long time. Um, but I'm trying not to let it stress me out. I'm going to just try to read for fun and not even worry about my Goodreads goal and just enjoy the books that I have left to read. Um, um, so what are you guys all reading for December? What do you guys, what's the books that you like have to get to before the end of the year? Uh, are you going to hit your Goodreads goals? Have you read any of these? If you have your thoughts, comments, and opinions about them, give it a if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click the little bell to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading. I hope you guys are well. Happy holidays, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.